Hello, my name is Selec, and this is a Gunfire Reborn solo reincarnation six run on Tau. This run showcases the new Tau Spiritual Remnant Ice Blade, which deals an additional 10% of an enemy's current HP as true damage, capped at 5,000 damage per blade. This Spiritual Remnant gives some much needed scaling to Tau's very excellent and super fun Blade of Bloom engine. In this run, I do not think I hit the 5,000 damage cap except on bosses. In this run, I'm able to use Blade of Bloom 3, Mark Chaser, Furious Wave, Sword Enthusiast, and Amplified Sword to do significant damage with each Fatal Bloom that I cast. Mark Chaser's buff applies independently, so each stack that I gain is locked at loss after 8 seconds and does not refresh its duration for each new stack that I do gain. Each Fatal Bloom that I cast summons 15 swords at level 3, which means that I get 17.5 skill and weapon damage for 1.5 seconds with Sword Enthusiast. These also stack independently. Finally, Amplified Sword applies to the enemy each time it's hit by a Summon Sword and makes them take 4% more damage from subsequent Summon Swords. These 4% damage stacks are multiplicative since it's a debuff to the enemy. Since this calculation is iterative, it's a bit difficult to calculate, but the 15 swords result in plus 0 damage on the first sword, up to plus 56% damage on the last sword. I wrote a little Python to figure out uh, this math because it's hard because the 15 damage are doing damage independently and they're adding up. So with 15 swords doing 100 damage, uh, the total damage that they would do normally would be 1,500. But with just one level on this ascension, they're doing 1,920 damage. Uh, that's about a 30% multiplicative damage increase. So that gives you a sense of how, how strong that is, because it's not very, not very clear. Because I have Blade of Bloom 3, I was able to use my Blades Out ability freely without it affecting the amount of blades that Fatal Bloom summons. The current upgrade text for this ascension is not correct everywhere in the game. The level 3 upgrade of Blade of Bloom gives the max amount of blade summons, which is 250% of your max blade heart stacks, no matter how many stacks you have. So you can have two stacks and you're still going to summon based off of your max. Uh, that's not in the text, but that's how that works. This, along with energy storage, allowed me to charge blade heart stacks almost 100% of the time. And with no escape, I was able to apply a 20% multiplicative damage increase to enemies and have all of my swords hone in on them without reducing my fatal damage uh, my Fatal Bloom damage from Blade of the Bloom at all. This started to get pretty nuts pretty quickly. As a final note, Sword Guard level 1 was my only defensive ascension I took this run, but I would have liked to take more. With 15 swords gaining 2 max shield and recovering 2 shield, each Fatal Bloom healed me 30 shield and gained me 30 shield. When using multiple casts of my secondary along with my primary blades out, it was quite easy for me to double my shield while healing it at the same time. So please, just relax, sit back, enjoy the music, and you know the drill. Sub only if you want to see more of these. I make these for fun, so don't feel obligated to sub for me. Sub for you.
Thank <laughs> you. 